The education of young people in Kazakhstan and indeed of future generations is extremely important for the future of this young country. Well, about three years ago, they built a new university within the city of Astana and I've heard a lot about it and I've wanted to come here and see it with my own eyes for a long time. You can see it now behind me, the Nazarbayev University it's called. It's been built to make sure that the education standards in the country are absolutely world class. And so let's go inside and find out a little bit more about how they're doing that. The Nazarbayev University in Astana is a major part of the country's project for educational reform. Its academic standards have been set to the highest level, along with its student recruitment policy. The entire curriculum is conducted in English. Going to university isn't just about learning stuff. Uh, but any student will tell you that the atmosphere has got to be just right. You've got to have the right learning environment to have a successful time at university. And the good thing about most universities is that you can enjoy a new way of life. And that is a very important part of the development of the character that you need to go on to be a leader of industry, to change the development of the country's future, all of these kind of things. They knew that very well when they built the Nazarbayev University. And you can see behind me this atrium that they've built for the students to enjoy themselves. Somewhere for them to go and sit, converse with each other, relax, maybe do their homework, or have a cup of coffee or something. It's a great place. It's part of the character of the university and it's part of the character of what the students will develop in the future. The university itself is divided into various different areas, one of which is the postgraduate studies and research facilities. One of the main parts though is the undergraduate school which is divided into three specific schools, the School of Engineering, the School of Science and Technology and the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, all very important parts of the education of Kazakhstan's future, the students at the Nazarbayev University. The university is broadly split into taught courses at undergraduate and postgraduate levels and the Nazarbayev University Research and Innovation System, or NURIS. There is also a centre for preparatory studies designed to prepare candidates for entrance to the university's main programmes. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome to Nazarbayev University. Thank you Simon very Jones. much. Hi, nice to meet you, Simon. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you now to Simon Jones, and he's the provost of Nazarbayev University. Hello, Simon. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming today. Well, you're welcome. Um, to know a little bit more about why, why the university is here and, and what your goals are. Well, uh, developing economies need first and foremost uh, a good set of highly skilled individuals mm -hmm. to help grow the, the social structures and, and the economy. Uh, but we're also living in a globalised world, and an economy which is increasingly based on uh, knowledge. And if for an economy to grow, it also has a university which not just develops people, but also develops ideas, opportunities and new businesses. So Nazarbayev University was really constructed to create a, a university fit for the 21st century and specifically for the challenges and opportunities that Kazakhstan faces. Mm, right, and so what challenges and opportunities are they? Well, as always, it's the, it's the challenge of growth, mm -hmm. uh, modernizing, reforming the economy, uh, civil society, the, the civil service, making the most of the uh, oil and mineral wealth that uh, Kazakhstan has, creating health systems, uh, transport infrastructure necessary mm -hmm. for, uh, uh, for a modern era. Mm -hmm. But it's not just enough to build things. Uh, you also have to have people with the skills not just to work in the environment that they're in today, but also contribute to developing a, a more productive and prosperous future for mm -hmm. Kazakhstan. Mm -hmm. Right, so in fact you're, you're preparing the leaders of industry and the economy um, for the future of Kazakhstan. That's a very large task and I'm sure that there's uh, plenty of people who would like to be part of that. How do you make sure that you just get the best candidates here? Oh, that's, that's a good question. I mean, we're preparing people not just to take jobs, but we're preparing mm -hmm. people to make jobs as well, to help grow the economy. Mm -hmm. The way Nazarbayev University works is, is perhaps a unique model. We've partnered with six of the top 30 universities in the world, mm -hmm. and they're helping us go further and faster in creating a new university than we could on our own. So they're helping us with the design of the curriculum, they're mm -hmm. helping us with research, they're helping us 
uh, fine faculty. Mm -hmm. And um, it's because we've got universities of the quality of University of Pennsylvania, Cambridge mm -hmm. University, National University of Singapore, mm -hmm. that we've really started at such a, such a fast rate. Right. So you mentioned this top echelon of universities throughout the world, uh, the top six in fact, and uh, how do you see yourself growing to match that kind of quality of, of service, if you like? Uh, where, where do you see yourself within that kind of prestigious and um, elite set of universities? I mean, many of these universities took, took decades, if not hundreds mm -hmm. of years to get mm -hmm. there. So building a world-class university mm -hmm. is, is something that takes a long time and you have to be there for the long run. Mm -hmm. The question is, can you move further and faster than other countries that mm -hmm. are trying to develop uh, research universities? So initially they help us with, uh, with the teaching, but in increasingly the faculty here and the faculty in these universities are working together. And the truth is you get good mm -hmm. by working with people better than yourself. Mm -hmm. right. We're working with the best and we hope that we can become the best in time. Mm -hmm. But as I said, it's a long haul building a mm -hmm. research university, but the early signs are certainly positive. I'd like to ask a personal question yeah. now about uh, life in Astana. Yeah. Um, you're from Britain. So how is it to come from that kind of environment into the heart of Central Asia to a harshly continental climate? How do you find that personally? Well, uh, Kazakhstan has uh, hot summers and certainly has uh, cold winters. Mm -hmm. But what it has most of all from the Kazakhstan people is a warm welcome. Mm -hmm. And that's certainly my impression of having been here now for, mm -hmm. uh, for 18 months. Astana is changing very quickly yes. and I think it's very exciting to see all those changes and be part of them. I mean, what are your views on that? Well, it's, it's, a, it's such a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you drive around the city and you've only got to see the cranes, the mm -hmm. new buildings come out, mm -hmm. the new shopping centres, the new opera house uh, opening. You, you very much get a sense in Kazakhstan of being part of a society that knows where it wants to go mm -hmm. and is determined to do it. And I think that's one characteristic all, all, all Kazakhs uh, share is their determination to achieve things. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just, a, just an enormous thrill to be part of it, mm -hmm. sometimes as a bystander or spectator mm -hmm. and sometimes a, as a participant. But for sure, this is a place that's going somewhere and it's, it's a great time to be here in my view. It, it is, and it's, it's a very young society, isn't it? Uh, I found that, um, that young people particularly are very keen to succeed and they really do believe um, in the future that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, as, a, as a university provost, yeah. you no doubt see that more than most. Yeah, I mean, one of the nice things about work, being in universities is you get to work with bright, enthusiastic mm -hmm. young people. Mm -hmm. And the students we have here are certainly bright and certainly enthusiastic. But what you see here, which I think is slightly different to seeing in the West, is of course everybody goes to university because they like studying the subject, mm -hmm. because they want to develop a career. Mm -hmm. But here what is also very strong is they want to help build their country. Mm -hmm. their, their commitment to higher education is to allow them to have the skills to help develop their country. And that's really striking, very noticeable here at Nazarbayev University. Mm -hmm. A great deal of importance is placed at NURIS on energy research with projects taking place in the fields of renewable power generation, high energy physics and modelling the balance of energy consumption and its effect on the environment and climate. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How good. are you? Good. Yeah, very well, thank you. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you here to Akmaral, and she's in the Nazarbayev University Research and Innovation System, um, and she's a researcher on part of that project. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it's actually um, a part of the university in which um, people who are um, related to research um, are concentrated. So um, here within this uh, NURIS, mm -hmm. um, there are several um, <clears throat> projects are being conducted in different aspects, in different uh, areas. Um, basically, there are two centers within this um, mm -hmm. system. It's a um, center for energy research and interdisciplinary center. So basically, this is actually a research institution rather than uh, part of the teaching system of the university. Yes, that that's right. right. It's right. a research institution. So tell me about the project that you're specifically involved in. So um, as probably a lot of people heard, the smart grid is becoming is uh, being a very hot topic now of yeah. research and development. Um, 
Here we are trying to build a smart house. Mm -hmm. We have our test uh, territory where we uh, installed several renewable sources. Mm -hmm. It's uh, solar collectors, it's PV, PV panels, mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, wind turbines. Also, we are trying to make some research on um, accumulation storage, uh, energy storage mm -hmm. um, devices such like as batteries. Like batteries mm -hmm. and also there is hydro accumulation. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, using all these technologies, all these renewable sources, we uh, try to uh, create a microgrid mm -hmm. uh, so that we can implement those uh, renewable sources into this microgrid. Mm -hmm. um, and the energy from this microgrid will be um, delivered to a smart house mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, appliances. We uh, bought all the appliances. It's uh, basic appliances such as a microwave, mm -hmm. uh, TV, or um, refrigerator and vacuum cleaner and so mm -hmm. on. So, so you want to connect all of these devices to your grid? To right? our grid, yes. So that you yes. don't pull any power from the national exactly. grid. You don't have to pay exactly. for exactly. So, Akmaral, this is your testing ground that we can see yes, here, it is. that you're very proud of. So <laughs> tell me more about that and, and what does it actually mean to you? Uh, so, um, first of all, let me tell me about something about what a smart grid is. Mm -hmm. The existing grid that we have now is um, actually, um, it has a hierarchical structure. It's so one-way communication from up, mm -hmm. from the top where the power plant is to the bottom where the consumer is. Uh, the smart grid actually allows communication both vertically and horizontally. Mm. So it's actually the whole system, the components, the substations, the power plant is uh, embedded with a special uh, processor ag agents mm -hmm. which can communicate to each other and to, you know, as I told, horizontally and vertically. What about the future of all this? Renewable energy, sustainable energy is very important, not just for the future of Kazakhstan, but for the future of, of the world's energy resources. How important is the work that you're doing on securing the world's future for energy? Well, there is a global strive for environmental um, environmental uh, how to call, security mm -hmm. um, and um, such as you know because of the climate change and uh, carbon uh, emission dec decrease of carbon emissions mm -hmm. and so that's a big goal we are trying to achieve here and uh, also we are trying to preserve the resources we have mm -hmm. um, and because um, we have the potential to actually implement and employ this uh, res renewable resources. Why not? Great. <laughs> well, do some uh, beneficial work here. Uh -huh. Projects are also undertaken in other high technology subjects, as illustrated by this laboratory investigating automation and robotics. We're in the science and technology school now, and within this school, there's a lot of different laboratories and research facilities and I want to show you one at the moment, it's a very exciting one. We're in the, the uh, robotics laboratory at the moment and they're doing some really interesting research here. It's not just about industrial robots that everybody's familiar with, there's research into the way the manipulators at the end of the robot arm actually take hold of things of different topographies like how it might uh, grasp a bowl or grasp a, a dish or even grasp an egg. And now I'm going to show you one of the developments that they're working on here at the moment. And this is Ilyas, and he's a research scientist in this laboratory. And you can see on his arm, there's this manipulator, which is being controlled uh, by the movements of his own hand, if you could show us that. So you can see the state of the technology um, that's being developed within uh, the Nazarbayev University and the kind of applications that this can be used for. I think it's a fantastic example of the kind of developments that are going on in this very progressive department within the university. We've seen quite a lot of the work that these young and talented people are up to in this university. Very inspiring stuff. I've no doubt that there'll be a great future with the kind of people that they've got here that they're educating at Nazarbayev University at the moment. Well, there's a lot more to see both here in Astana and also throughout the country. And I hope you'll join me to discover it in Discovering Kazakhstan. Goodbye.